Your sister can help us. Although just a handmaiden, she has Marjorie Tyrell's favor. And Lady Marjorie's betrothal to the king may be enough to keep the Boltons at bay. If it's presented to her as it should be. Asher sent me this coin, to remember him. What a strange place, Essos. Ethan made this for me. Father. Much excitement here in King's Landing for the coming wedding. Lady Marjorie has proven to be quite popular throughout the city. I do wish you and Mother could come, although I know it would be impossible under the circumstances. I miss all of you, and I look forward to the day you can. It was very kind of Lady Marjorie to give this to me. It once belonged to Lady Elena. Wonders Made by Man by Lomas Longstrider. A gift from Roderick. I hope to see them all someday. King's Landing. I wonder if it's sunny at Ironrath today. It troubles me to even ask this of you, but you must appeal to Lady Marjorie to intervene on our behalf. She is our best hope, and can be a powerful ally, especially now when your family so desperately needs her help. One moment. Oh, sorry, milady. I, I didn't mean to disturb you. I can come back later if you'd like. No, it's fine. Come in. Begging your pardon, milady, but... Are you all right? If you don't mind my asking, you seem rather upset. I'm fine, thank you. Of course, my lady. Please hurry if you can. Lady Marjorie will be here any minute. Of course, my lady. You work for Lady Marjorie? I may be wrong. It seems like you do. It's widely known that I work for Lady Marjorie. I've seen you with her before. You seem like good friends. I saw Lady Marjorie just this morning, outside the Royal Sept, talking to Queen Cersei. Cersei? They appeared to be having some sort of disagreement. I couldn't hear much, but it was definitely an argument. You were eavesdropping? No, not at all. I was just passing by and I heard them arguing about House Forrester and- House Forrester? I thought you'd like to know. Forgive me if I was mistaken. I hope you're not in any kind of trouble. Most people don't tend to notice a cold boy. Not in King's Landing with so many lords and ladies about. You see and hear all sorts of things when people don't even know you're there. 
Good night, milady. Lady Marjorie, you're early. I was hoping there would be time for us to talk. Come, there's something we must discuss. From the day you arrived in Highgarden, I've thought of you more as a friend than as my handmaiden. A dear friend, in fact. Thank you, my lady. And you know how I feel about what's happened to your family. I feel your pain as if it were my own. What you've suffered is beyond imagining. And your poor family as well. My family wrote me, my lady. I don't doubt they must be overcome with grief. But you must not despair. We will get through this together. You must understand there are limits to what I can say, especially here in King's Landing, now that I am to be queen. To have a handmaiden from the North whose family fought for Rob Stark, it raises questions at a time I can least afford. Cersei herself cornered me this morning outside the Royal Sept. She mentioned the Northern girl in my service, and she painted you a traitor. She was very pleased with herself. Her face was full of mirth as she said it. I'm not a traitor. Of course not. It's only an excuse to torment you, and by extension, me. She demands an audience. She wants an apology of some sort, for what I don't know, but... She's waiting for us now, and I promised I would bring you to her. I wouldn't ask this of you if it were not important. I cannot afford any conflict with Cersei with the wedding so near. I'll do as you ask, my lady. I knew I could trust you. Humor her. Tell her what she wants to hear. See if the Queen Regent is ready to receive us. You'll be fine. I know you will. You may feel one thing, but you must say another. Good luck.